Hey guys, welcome. My name's Captain Shack, host of the channel The XP Gamers. Join with me is Squee913, and welcome to TG10. Top 10 reasons to be excited for X Rebirth. Now, this may seem kind of strange to some people, but anyone who's played any of the recent X3 games will know that you don't actually see a cockpit when you're flying in the ships. It feels like you're just floating through space. And for a lot of people, that is immersion breaking. You want to see the ship around you, and we haven't had any official cockpit support since X2, the threat. Most of the recent games have not had this, and we've had to rely upon the modding community. So it's really, really, really great to see that they're bringing a cockpit back. And not just a cut and paste picture of a cockpit, but one that your character actually interacts with by pulling down VR visors and hitting notepads and turning and talking to companions. It's really, really great to see this put back into the game. One of my biggest complaints about the original X Games is fast travel. There isn't any. You do have a C to drive, which kind of compresses time and makes things go a little faster, but the actual act of going from one system to another took forever. Not to mention when you actually went to another system, you get hit by a gate. And that gate would be another load screen, and it would pull you out of the game. They're going out of their way to make traveling around in the galaxy way more interesting and way more unique. You jump on a highway, and it'll actually take you from point A to point B. No more C to drive, where you're just in there beating up time, or having to switch to a different, faster ship to get someplace quicker. You can still do that, but the highway system just adds a little bit more to it, and makes the actual travel paths a little more interesting. I'm curious to see if they add combat inside the highway system because it's a really cool effect where you kind of choose the lane you want to be in compared to other ships another thing this helps with is pathfinding and ai pathfinding in the original games was really really bad and with this highway system of set routes the ai will use it and we might not have as many collisions that were completely unnecessary If you're going to be stuck with just one ship, at least it's a highly customizable ship. From everything we've seen, you'll be able to customize anything from your engines to your weapons to possibly even the appearance of the ship itself. The hope is that you'll be able to turn this ship into what you want, a fighter, a transport, or a cross between the two. And in addition to that, you're going to have a very complex drone system that you can deploy. You can buy all sorts of different drones that are specifically designed for certain tasks, whether it be reconnaissance or combat combat or mining or any number of things, you can deploy these drones and remotely control them from your cockpit using a first person VR view. So this one little ship, if it's done right, is going to pack a lot of utility into it. They're going to have actual crew members on your ship which really speaks to how much more immersive they're trying to make the game. And it looks fantastic. Being able to talk to your crew, having boarding crew aboard your ship, talk to your engineer. And what they've said repeatedly is you'll be able to hire and exchange some crew members, others you will meet by destiny. So storyline driven characters. The crew is actually being used to replace some of the horrific menu systems that the original games have had. No longer will you be going through all these menus to find what you're looking for, you just go talk to the necessary crew member. They have made some pretty sweeping changes to the way capital ships will work in X Rebirth. First of all, you no longer have manual control of capital ships, but I don't see this as a bad thing. Controlling capital ships in the previous X games was boring. They were slow and cumbersome. This one takes a much more realistic point of view. You can land your ship in them and actually get out and talk to the crew members. You can walk right up to the captain and give them specific orders or give them more freedom and give them general guidelines lines of what you want the captain of that ship to do. You can take command yourself and tell them exactly what you want done, say if you're in the middle of a battle. So you take much more of a Captain Picard mentality than an actual I'm the helmsman of the ship mentality, and I enjoy that. In addition, capital ships will have an enormous amount of surface targets that you can individually target and destroy 
on the ship itself, making it easier to take out or subdue or whatever you want to do to them. And that is really cool. A really neat feature that's been added to this is the way that capital ships will pull your personal ships or drones. The closer you get to it, the more it attracts you, almost like gravity. And if you're close enough to it, when it turns, you will actually turn with it. You can land on it and just go wherever it goes. The X-Series has always had a strong modding community and it's been supported by the game developers. And X-Rebirth is no different. They've already said they're going to support modding on the outset. The tools will be released right after the release of the game. And I'm sure we'll see lots of really interesting, really cool player generated content. And one of the reasons that I dived so heavily into the original X series. From flying around from Star Trek ships to Star Wars ships to just generally cool things that people come up with, new systems and ways of interacting with the universe, the modding community is there to make the game last way past the release date. And I can't wait to spotlight those mods over on my channel, The XP Gamers. Previous X games have had stations and factories and factory complexes, which are just a huge jumble of crap, but we've never actually had gigantic space cities like what they're telling us to expect in X Rebirth. They are toting enormous complexes of hundreds of buildings all put together into actual cities that are explorable outside and inside through drones or through walking around. And in addition to that, these hundreds of buildings are each individually separate from the whole in the sense that they can be damaged or destroyed on their own. You no longer have one giant health bar for the whole city, but individual parts of the city can be targeted and destroyed and will have massive effects on the economy of the system. The scale of this is just breathtaking if it is pulled off the way they're saying it will be. X Rebirth is taking place a great deal of time after Albion Prelude, the last game in the franchise, meaning it's a whole new situation, new technology, and the universe is in a different state. So this opens up all kinds of possibilities with what they could do with the storyline and how things have changed. What happened to the races from Albion Prelude? Are the Xenons still a threat? What happened to the Argon? It'll be really interesting to see what they do with the universe. We can already tell from the videos that the technology has changed quite a bit. With the massive space cities, the highways, I'm wondering what else have they done? Now, I may not be a graphic elitist demanding the best quality from everything, but there's no denying that the better the graphics, the easier it is to immerse yourself in a game and feel like it's a living, breathing world. And X Rebirth seems to have this covered. The graphics in this game are amazing from what we've seen. The shadows are great. The lighting is fantastic. And it's a complete overhaul of graphics from the previous games. All the way from the distance to when you get close up, there is enormous enormous detail inside and outside of the stations and ships. They even have animations now. You'll see capital ships with turrets actually coming out of the, the ship itself to start firing at you. There was one point where in the video the guy flies through exhaust and you see heat shimmers. The level of detail that they are trying to put into the new graphics engine of this game looks spectacular. walking around something so simple and yet so immersive to the game it adds so much this was me and squeeze number one pick because all we ever wanted to do with all the systems in the universe as is we just wanted to be able to get up and take a look at our surroundings to walk around and to interact inside the ship and the stations that we populate so those are our top 10 reasons to really be excited for x rebirth but to keep us honest, what are the issues? What are the possible problems this game could have? So, Squeak, what do you think, man? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is the fact that we're being limited to a single ship. Uh, one of the greatest things in the X universe was being able to buy any ship and fly any ship and have entire fleets at your disposal. And now we're being uh, reduced to just one. 
And then, but well, you've got the what is it? The drones, right? So right, that is a, a possible you know light in the in and the tunnel kind of thing is that you know you can remotely control drones, and they say that they're going to be very detailed and and very. Uh, specific so you do have those it's not like you're going to feel like you're trapped in one cockpit but is that going to be enough compared to having the entire universe's fleets at your disposal right are you going to be able to buy a a squadron of fighters and take command of them or control of them i don't know and i don't know if people are going to be upset by the inability to do that yeah uh another possible issue that we are talking about is crew depth you know is crew going to be is it going to be more than just a module that walks around your ship? Right. What I thought of when I saw this was Firefly. You know, you have your yes. ship and you have your crew and each crew member has a personality that you can identify and connect with and you feel like a family or Mass Effects, Normandy. You know, are we going to get that? Probably not. And I don't really expect them to give me Garrus calibrating guns or anything. But, but at least something. Right. Is each yeah. NPC going to have their own personality or are they going to be walking automatons that just feel like lifeless husks? I really do hope they're not just copy and paste NPCs that are just randomly scattered. We that have, would be sad. Well, we have been told that some of them, at least, are met through plot and story elements, which means that they have to be unique and have to have at least a, a, a rudimentary personality. So that's hopeful. But what about right. the ones you hire? I don't. Yeah. I just don't know yet. And will it be just the co-pilot? Is that only the person with the storyline, or is it going to be like the engineer and whatnot? So. Right, and I think that that would be a grave disservice to not at least give each character some sort of unique personality to identify with. Right. And the last thing, walking around. It's our most anticipated feature in our list. It's our number one. But it could, but could also could be, go wrong? It could also be the hugest disappointment in this game. Um, if... If they give us where every place where you land, every station you land at is the same copy-pasted corridor with six rooms kind of thing, it is going to be such a massive disappointment and completely kill what, what we're hoping to see. It really would be a disappointment if I walk down the same hallway and instead of the bar being on the left, it's on the right and that makes it different. I... I hope not. I really hope not. I hope there's oh, and I hope we see a difference in the races. I, I also I don't mind things looking similar because in space you have this sense that everything's manufactured, so everything's right. going to have the same build and the same type of layout for the same race. That's fine. My worry is more about scale. Are we going to be limited to such a small area that you don't really feel like you can just get out and wander around? I want to be able to walk through a station. Maybe not go everywhere. That's a bit asking a bit much, but yeah. enough to actually sink your teeth in so that you feel like you're actually just getting out and wandering around a station. Yeah, I definitely want to get out and I want to explore and I want to see these stations and the people working inside them. And I want to see the difference between a manufacturing plant and, say, a solar plant. That would be neat. Right, I agree. The one thing I don't want, for those of you who know, I don't want freelancer. I don't want where you actually exit your ship, but you can go to a bar, a mechanic, a ship dealer, and that's it. You and know, and everywhere you go, it's the same place. Yeah, so yeah. I'm so it, it's it's what we're mostly anticipating for. Also, could be its biggest weakness if it fails. Well, guys, that wraps up this first episode of TG10 Top 10 Reasons to Be Excited for X Rebirth. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for more gaming goodness here on TGN. And let us know down in the comments what are you most excited for in X Rebirth. What features do you want to see and which ones are you really worried they're going to screw up? All right, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Trade, fight, build, think in the X universe. The biggest sandbox this side of the galaxy. Freedom in an authentic universe where your actions truly matter.